Actual tabletop cringe. When did you last cringe at the tabletop? Friendly local game store tonight. Playing some Necromunda with the lads. One autistic black guy sitting by himself organising magic cards. Ordered a fish and chips meal to the store for himself. Gets out huge napkin and tucks it into his button up shirt. Claps his hands and says, What? Itty tacky mass! <laughs> Oh god, Megan, the video's oh, already going to get oh, taken down. Shit. What are you doing to me? <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> to nobody. Very loudly. Then gets out chopsticks. <laughs> for fucking chippy food. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's quality. I think I pulled a muscle in my upper arm from physically cringing so bad. <laughs> oh, that's dreadful. That's dreadful. What will, what will be the last one for us? That wah? Uh huh. That, that was wah. dreadful. Megan, you explain it. You that, were there. That he, 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 this guy did it to me a few times. To be fair, it was kind of funny. It was kind of funny. It was really unexpected. So it's, it, Yeah, but it's whenever the whole story is silent, everybody's just like and everyone just turns their out own their little ex- thing. And the next one, it, this guy lets out a huge, like, wow! Like, I mean, like, top of his lungs. So, wah, like, the room shaking. You guys I have to hold the models on the table because <laughs> he's, like, shaking the table violently. So, if you guys don't know, um, the guy I was playing against he on turn two I believe for orcs I can't remember now it's been that long um, you get to declare a wah and you get yeah. like extra movement so you do yeah. but he really he got in really he really, really enjoyed it like, like fair that's, play getting like, into the game fair play. Like, like, that, like, that's what orc players like and that's why you guys are cool you know the what I mean? veins were popping out in his head though <laughs> yeah his eyes were bulging it was just so unexpected but like let's get into this thread well way last major cringe at tabletop was two years ago when our then new DM had one of the female characters seduce a lesbian half orc to get her to sign a dating agreement with this other dude, so that dude would take us on a boat ride. Okay. <laughs> the audible sighs from me. <laughs> yeah, like, what are we doing? Why? 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 Do, why do people think this is such a great idea? Just don't, guys. It's, no. Said player was very small, very shy, and very timid at the time. While DM is trans, about 6'2", and built pretty damn big. Looked exactly like evil, malevolent dragon torturing poor defenceless princess. Just remember thinking it was uncanny how accurate it was. <laughs> Player is very obviously uncomfortable, as was Table. DM insists on role playing it out. <laughs> why, why do they insist on it? They really have to do this, don't they? See, this is this is this is the this is what sets the tone of a coomer. To yeah. me, if you want to, like, this you know, is what makes me scared to go back. Yeah, I'm actually pretty comfortable playing online at this point. At, at the beginning, I was like, "Fuck World Twenty," but now I'm like, actually, oh. I really enjoy World Twenty now. <laughs> but like, see, when you come across stuff like this, now this is what makes a coomer a true coomer. It's whenever they force other people into being comers yeah it's like no you're gonna sit here and you're gonna fucking enjoy it with me <laughs> you know what I mean oh like, keep going oh, unfortunately that never happened again oh sorry fortunately <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's like why unfortunately <laughs> DM got better and the campaign is actually pretty damn solid otherwise oh well good on you well that, that's, that's good that's good, that's that's good. good. They, got their, they got their urges under control <laughs> so good for you playing Root at friend's house invite friend's cousin Bring pot, bring bong, put on TV an anime about people fucking different fantasy species and reading them. Wait, Bar- what, wait what type <laughs> of what anime? The, what is this? <laughs> Can anyone actually tell me what anime is? Is the anime show about? Is it like a is weird? It about is, it, that? is it like a hentai knockoff? And it's like, oh yeah, so this one's kind of cool, but this ain't got nothing on um, this. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> Barely pays attention to the rules, begins to drink and smoke pot. Derails game as she describes getting an ab- getting an abortion to a stranger. Moves between abortion talk and how fun it would be to fuck a slime girl. Second time I'd ever met her. <laughs> <laughs> we're definitely Megan. Me- Megan, me- 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 we're definitely doing that top ten camera list. Oh yes. I'm gonna like right, okay. I want you guys to put your recommendations yes. I've, I've already got a pretty solid top five but mm-hmm. i could do with a bit of help working out a top 10 mm-hmm. so if you guys have got any recommendations we're definitely gonna combine a big video together and, and make do a top, a top 10 because look we just can't <laughs> lord wizard who's on good terms with the party shows us his library drunk player suddenly starts rambling about how one of the books belongs to his people and that the lord is a dastardly swine for taking it attacking the lord 
Lord effortlessly knocks him down with one spell. The rest of the party idly stands by. Drunk player attacks again and is knocked down once more. After the third time, the DM declares the character unconscious. Don't ever come to the table shit face. Look, look, don't, don't, look, look, don't call look, me out like that, look, okay, look. guys? Don't call me out, okay? Look, coming to the table shit face is okay if everyone else is drinking. Well, that would call me fucked. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd ask you, my heart was actually. You were shit face. Yeah, look, okay, it's not. Normally, I'm not that bad. Normally I shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? No, you yeah, don't. Like I'm really not that bad. Welcome. And I don't do it all the time. It's like maybe once a month at best. <laughs> okay. It's not that bad, alright? Alright. <laughs> when did you last cringe at a tabletop? Probably like three years ago. Friend wants to run a mythic evil campaign on Pathfinder as a change of pace. One player in her group who never plays anything but neutral good or lawful good in D D or Pathfinder is against the idea, but eventually relents. We all spent the week leading up to the game talking about our character concepts and speculating on the direction of the game. Except for that player, who is uncharacteristically quiet. Game day rolls round and we start. That player is playing a wizard. First thing he does is immediately break away from the party, makes his own little pocket realm, finds the nearest undefended village and raises it but not before kidnapping all of the village's female children. Oh, for God's sake, I was about to stop you there and be like, oh, well, they're playing an evil campaign, but then I left and then, oh, right, that next. Yeah, okay, guys, right. At this point, the rest of the table has stopped with their inner character bickering and become clearly uncomfortable with the direction this player is going. DM tells him this really isn't terribly appropriate for the table. The player clarifies that it's all okay because he's not going to touch the kids yet. Yet? Yes! Fuck! <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ! Fuck, he's just going to trap and groom them to be his sex slaves when they're 18, as if that's much better. <laughs> look, look, okay, okay, look, look. I want to have a filthy harem, but I do have standards, guys, okay? <laughs> I have standards, right? I just want to do a bit of social manipulation, okay? <laughs> Don't judge me, right? <laughs> D- DM begrudgingly decides to let him continue, but more or less sidelines him the rest of the session one to focus on the rest of the party. The next session, the dude is constantly pushing the DM to let him elaborate on what he's doing to break these girls <laughs> in his pocket realm. I love the way they call it the pocket realm. I know. You mean pocket pussy? <laughs> DM basically throws his hands up and nukes the setting and the campaign by the end of the session rather than to have to deal with the guys whining if we kicked him out of the game. We still play with the guy because he's a longtime friend and roommate of one of our players. But man, I've never quite been able to look at the guy the same way again. I won't easily forget the joy he expressed when he was doing it. Nor his disappointment when the DM wouldn't enable him by continuing continuing the game. I've always wondered about that when it comes to like these sorts of stories. Like normally they do fall apart. Yeah. But have you guys ever experienced it where like you know it continues, but like you know you've always got that memory that oh, that taint. Oh, yes. You know because like let's be serious. There's some things that just leave a smell. <laughs> or like leave yeah. a taint. You know yeah. like it, like it, like marks the soul almost. <laughs> yeah. You know. Hey guys, do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? Because we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human bitties. We got lizard bitties. We got orc bitties, oni bitties, cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on with the story. Wanted to find a new group after moving, and had a lot of cringe experiences finding new groups at the local game store. Mainly because I'm not used to being the least retarded person in the room. I relate and to that. <laughs> I fucking relate to that too hard. <laughs> <laughs> and it always left me feeling disgusted. Worst one was where this near elderly woman was trying to play a seductive archetype that her husband painfully made for her over four hours while we were sitting there. It was supposed to be a somewhat serious campaign, but any action to move the plot was overshadowed by her saying, I want to seduce her or him. And it just came off as pathetic to me, but the table was all for it. I felt physically unclean after that session. Is that some form of like weird cockold experiment? 
Is that what is that what it is? I don't know. It's is that is that what odd. it sounds like? It's odd. Why don't they just go and role play? I don't know. Like this, I, I, I no, I, I, I definitely, I definitely identify with this fellow. He says he feels physically unclean. No, just role play together. Yeah, alone. <laughs> yeah, please, please. Hosting Pathfinder at my house. I'm not GMing, so I make food. Offer up the drinks in my fridge and a couple of joints to pass around if people are interested. Twenty minutes into the game. A player and the GM got into an argument over whether or not an ancient city would have huge underground sewers or networks of tunnels or aqueducts. GM argues it's fantasy and that the city is built by a prior race that was technically slash magically advanced enough to do so. Player argues it's unrealistic. No, no, I know. I, don't, I think like, you know, think of, think of like Romans and like you know. Yeah. yeah, no, that works for me. I'm cool with that. GM shows pictures of real life sewers that are large enough to walk through. Player argues real world examples are irrelevant. Mm, I'm, mm, I don't know. Uh, keep going. Just because it's fantasy doesn't mean that it doesn't take from real life. And generally speaking, in fantasy, it goes it's more bigger. It's medieval it as well, it, but it, it just goes bigger uh, than I, what we have. Yeah, I, I always find in fantasy settings it tends to be way bigger. Like, think of... Um, pretty much think of anything in fucking Lord of the Rings. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, anything. Um, almost any like you know, fantasy setting yeah. has got that, you know? Like, you know, the Colossal Lubes were pretty big, but they're not as big as yeah. other things that are very much representations of them. GM argues instead, then, to picture the city as being similar in scope and advancement of Yarnham from Bloodborne. Player changes tactic and starts in on GM about being a hack and ripping off games. GM says it was just an example. This goes on for 45 minutes. 45 minutes off my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> I got up, left, had two fags, came back in to see them awkwardly try to throw punches. <laughs> Kick them both out. Sit awkwardly with two remaining friends as GM and player collect their shit and leave. Argument continues for days in group chat. My face went. Ended up taking their characters through a quick one shot to recoup the mood and time. Had fun in the end. Well, that's nice. Like, at least I have fun in yeah. the end. Honestly, is it anything worse than like. Say, like, a couple come around your house and then they just start arguing. Oh, my God, I always get so awkward. Is there anything more awkward than, I like... I hate being, like, see, in, <laughs> see hate being like, in a couple's company when they're fucking fighting. Or, like, you know, even just friends or anything. Like, you know, see whenever... Friends you, aren't as bad, I don't think, because you can... With friends, you can kind of jump in and be like, great, okay, right, come settle on, boys, down. Calm down. But within, if it's, like, a couple, it's like... Ugh. Yeah, it doesn't really work too well. I don't get what this argument was based off. At all, to be honest with you, I, 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 I don't, I don't get fucking nothing. It, it, it is. It's a pure argument for the sake of an argument. Almost, there must, there has to be something else going on here. There has to be. There's no way. Some like, okay, like I'm pretty autistic when it comes to shit, but that's next level. Yeah. Oh, uh, your sewer system doesn't have that. It's like shut the fuck up. Just do. <laughs> just go with it, all right? Met a girl through work. First time we talk, she invites me over to play League of Legends with her. She's good, real good. Asks me to come over and watch anime. Expect some mo shit or Ghibli. It's Legend of Galactic Heroes and fucking uh, Masamune, Masamune Shiro. Shiro 80s classics. Okay. Ask I'm sure they're very good. I've just never watched them, guys. Like I'm. I don't want. I don't. Uh, uh, don't in the comments, please. Try and give us anime. Look, you, you know the worst thing is. You, do you want to know a secret? We're not going to watch them. You know, like you know the worst thing is we actually sat down and we really tried to give JoJo a go. Yeah. And it just wasn't for and us. And if I'm not getting into JoJo. I do yeah, like I do like Studio Ghibli, but I don't consider Studio Ghibli, Ghibli stuff anime. No. Anime, I consider that like Japanese Disney, Disney. in my yeah. opinion. But like. Asks me to DM for her and some friends. Expect meme shit. Overly invested boyfriends and bored women. They're all really into it, and they're grateful for me even taking the time to DM for them. Eventually ask her out and she says yes. First time we fuck, I half expect to see a cock because she's too beast <laughs> to be a woman. No cock. Aw, oh, rest in peace, Rich. Only the good die young. Aw. <sighs> oh, my heart's just fallen out of my asshole. Oh. That's very sweet. That's very sweet. The feels. R.I.P. Rich. I didn't expect to get feels. I didn't feels. expect it. That hit me so goddamn hard, bro. I didn't, want, I didn't want feels today, okay? I, didn't, I wasn't in the mood. I wasn't hyped for cringe, but, <laughs> or I was hyped for cringe, not 
Not for feels. <sighs> Poor Leech. Yeah, I think we'll just end it there, will yeah, we? Yeah, we'll just end it there. Yeah, I don't think I could do cringe after that. After that, no. No, that's very sweet. Well, if you've got your own cringy ass stories, put them in the comments below because I love reading them. Yeah. Um, and also while you're down there, check out all the links. Check out the models, the t-shirts, the subclasses. There's tons of shit on the website. Go mm. check it out. Um, check out my channel while you're oh, down there. Oh yeah, Megan's got a channel. She sh you should be upgrading tomorrow. Tomorrow, either tomorrow or Monday. It's yeah. gonna be because I, um have a baby scan tomorrow <laughs> so, oh yeah so um, it just it's either depends. tomorrow or monday i'll post but we'll, we'll find out we're not um, too sure yet but hit subscribe hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post and we'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>